Testing. One, two. I've armed the track and I've hit record, so it's definitely recording because I can see the second counter on my Tascam portable recorder. It's not the first time it's happened, it's happened before, but I've triple quad espresso checked before starting this podcast radio session episode that I'm definitely recording. I did a 30 minute podcast, I believe, last uh, a few months ago and did the whole thing and didn't hit the record button. <sighs> but we are recording now, which is rad. I've been sat on this idea a well, while. Firstly, apologies for the delays. There's been a lot happening behind the scenes and stuff at the Black Coffee Worship Caves and Christmas was hella busy. Thank you so much for making me hella busy around the Christmas period. It was sick. I uh, really enjoyed myself and we got to roast and post so much coffee that went out the door. But it's been a while since we've done any type of podcast or radio or YouTube sessions. Um, So trying to bring it back for 2024 and have it playing live and loud for us here. So it's January right now. It's minus four outside. And I'm sipping the new Black Cross Coffee Blend. Collabo style with the sister apparel company that we run here at Black Coffee Worship called Black Cross Worship. Ultimate disclaimer posts about this coffee. It is darker than dark. Blacker than black. Really does resemble crushed Oreos or the volcanic beaches of Iceland is what we've said. Huge disclaimer, warning sign, drink at your own risk. I, we can't have anybody email saying, your coffee's over-roasted, it's burnt. No, it's blacker than black for a reason, this one. It's super dark, ultra-premium blend of dark roast. Um, Brazilian, Indonesian origin coffee mix on this one. Pre-worn, blacker than black, strong as shit, and it will kick your ass. But we really, 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 really dig it. Super, super strong. It's not one of those butch macho, strongest coffee in the world, gym sort of pre-game coffees. It's just blacker than black. Um, The most darkest coffee I've ever had. Um, And we've got five star reviews on it so far, which is awesome. This podcast radio session, radio session is the term I'm throwing into this one because I wanted to make this episode more of a radio style session. We are four years old in June, July, this year, one of the months. And within that four years, we have done some amazing collabo blend projects with Black Coffee Worship, roasting and posting, sending out. And we've made friends with a lot of cool and rad bands within the scene. So this podcast radio episode i wanted to basically go through the collabs that we've got and play a track of theirs uh, in between just a showcase and push those bands links in the descriptions and keep them basically going and alive we'll be doing collabs a little bit differently going forward i think we'll be pushing for more like a three to six month sit period for roasting and then we'll drop and bring in a new collab each time Um, because my shelves are full and we can't keep holding on to so many things. But it's always rad to do these collabs, and we have done one, two, three, four, or five. Five collabs so far uh, with bands and artists. So here we have it, the Black Coffee Worship Radio session. It is recording, I have checked it, and we are sipping the new 
Black Cross Worship Coffee Blend. Huge thanks to everybody that uh, can listen to this and heart it on Spotify, like it on YouTube, and I don't know if there's any other platforms to listen to it from. Oh, Podbean, if anybody uses that as well. That's what we use to upload this podcast onto. But it is January. It's minus four. It is snow on the floor. That's how we like it. It reminds us of the homeland of Jutteboska Dagen, Gothenburg days. So, BCW Radio, here we go. Bring it to the beginning of all our collabs that we done when we first started and what a collab to start off and knock it out the park with our first collab for black coffee worship was with the five piece black and deathcore band to be a tyrant rad dudes and i want to play this track for you by them radio style coming in live to be a tyrant vermilion moon
was to be a tyrant to obey a tyrant the million moon five piece black and deathcore band our first collab that we done with bcw on their roast game it went well it still goes well and those guys are making and still producing sick new music and merch go check them out check their instagram page see what tour dates they've got going on they're busy, busy people. So, uh, and the videos, high production videos on YouTube. So, check the link out for their YouTube videos, is a big hit to do. Throwing in now a, another collab that we done and we worked hard together with producing the label artwork, the roast style to be correct, um, and just generally another great merch line that this band put onto their roster. Everybody says their merch game is on point, and that is the incredible The Infernal Sea. Visceral black metal. They play live, constant. You've probably seen them a bunch of times. If not, got to go check them out. Look at their tour roster, see where they're gigging, and uh, get out. They are on the road. They are playing. They are gigging. So it was an awesome one. We did a dark roast, Italian style, with The Infernal Sea. And this song that I want to play for you to throw in so you can listen to them. um, Buy the vinyl if they've got some left. Check out their other merch game that they're doing. This is the Infernal Sea Elixir of Death.
tune. The Infernal Sea, Elixir of Death there. Visceral, black metal. Um, stage presence game is on point for those guys. Like I said, get to see them live, do it. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Another good collab that went well for us um, is a very, how do I put this, I really dig it, a very incognito band. Um, Hard to know too much about them. Kind of got a cult following of the listeners and the people that buy the gear. So much to the point, I, there's another video that I did about each collab and I go into a little bit more depth, but by the time we agreed to do this collab, I realised that I I didn't catch the people's names, um, payment details was done through their band thing, and it was posted out to their work addresses. I said they kept it very incognito, which I thought was actually really rad, and I didn't push it through. That band is Dusk Lurker melodic black metal and dungeon synth really 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 dig these guys um production bands split over different countries creating great music and i've been lucky enough to work with them in the past as well um when it comes to mastering and mixing some of their tracks so um it's been really really fun to work with again great dudes on the dms and on the emails Dusk Lurker, this is their track mastered by Black Coffee Worship in house at the Caves of Worship. Death is no exit. Dusk Loka, Death Is No Exit, Melodic Black Metal in Dungeon Synth. Great dudes to work with. 
moving on now for a curveball, we throw through in a, a collab for a total different style and a different genre related usually to these lines that we've done here at Black Coffee Worship. And this is my best friend from years and years and years, Percy Bones, the Bones blend that we done uh, way, way, way ago. Uh, Trap metal, I think he comes down and calls it uh, a few of the times. Dark art with some twists um, and very, very deep genres talking about within his music. I, when I brought it through with him and he showed me his tunes that he was working on I hadn't heard this genre of music before and it blew me away when I hit it it's um, got that industrial sound production beats and yeah it knocks out the park the bones blend uh, is available on his website now and his youtube channel you can check out all of his streaming videos on there but this is percy bones with dark rage featuring sage bastard you little bastard yeah <laughs> sage beats on the mix <laughs> Again, Percy Bones there coming through, something a bit different for everybody to get into and listen to. 
here on Black Coffee Worship Radio. Collab, last one for the times that we've done so far. We've got new collabs coming in 2024, but this one was an ultimate dream to be able to click on board with some friends from the homelands and produce a fine, fine coffee collab. And that is Min Favorite, my favourite, Black Birch. Atmospheric black metal duo featuring Gina Wicklund and Ulf Blumberg. Again, a dream to work with these dudes. Artwork on point, music on point, production values out of this world. Really, really cool dudes to work with and to speak to and to collaborate with. Posvenska in Swedish. So a little nod to the homelands here. They have been nominated for Best Metal Independent Indie Award in Sweden so far. This is Black Birch Desolate.
favourite so far there, Black Birch Desolate, atmospheric black metal for the southern bear lands of Sverige. Gina Wicklund and Ulf Blumberg. Go listen to Black Birch. I say it like, listen to Black Sabbath, listen to Black Birch. You will not, not be disappointed. Coffee Game's gone really well with those dudes as well. And that was our Black Coffee Worship radio podcast session featuring tracks from all our collabs that we've done so far with the coming age of four years old for BCW. A few more band collabs happening this year. Stay tuned for those. And until then, drink that coffee black. Stay rad. Stay hydrated. Peace. (laughs) 